What got me into shaping was that you couldn't go to the shop and buy a board that was current. All back when I started surfing, and well, I actually started surfing in the early 60s, but by 67, 68, designs were changing so fast that you just couldn't get what you wanted at the store. So next year I'll be been doing this for 50 years. Um, you know, I started Timponi in 1980. So that, well, that's 40 years or something like that, I mean, almost. So it, it's, I am the business, you know, it's, uh, I, it's taken over part of me, but it's not in a bad way. I mean, I, it gives me something to get up and do and come and do every day that brings me a lot of pleasure. I love my craft. You know, I love building boards. I love seeing people walk out of here happy with a new board. And it's even better than when they come back and, and get another one because they were so excited about it. I not only shape, but I also laminate and I sand all every board that goes through the shop. Um, I have, you know, my son Nick helps out with the epoxy, and I have a wonderful airbrusher, and she does hot coating and puts in the fin systems. Wendy Smith, and she's doing a fabulous job. I love to get my hands in here and actually shape the boards and feel them and do all that stuff, and it, and it keeps my mind going. I mean, I'm just I just don't really want to make a lot of mindless boards. I just want to do hand-shaped, custom to what that person needs, either for their size, their ability, they're going on a trip, you know, you know, whatever the circumstances. I like to be diverse in that part of my life and my shaping. You know, my theory with the whole thing of building boards is once you think you know it all and you're just pigeonholed into wherever you are, you're finished. Maui Leaf Flight is a, subs a subsidiary. It's a part of Timponi Surfboards. It's just using alternative, uh, more eco-friendly materials. So the feedback we've been getting with the Maui Leaf Flight construction has been really good in the sense that there's very little noticeable difference, which is what we've been aiming for. Because if you can create a transition to a more uh, environmentally conscious or aware product, without having any performance trade-offs, that's great. Surfers, they're, they're, they feel amazingly connected to the natural environment, but there's a large disconnect between their impacts and um, you can start being coming aware of that right with the surfboard that you're you know, having this great interaction with nature with. And if we can see that our surfboard has an impact and that we can reduce it, well, maybe we'll start to look around at other aspects of our life and how we can reduce our impact through there. So really the goal is uh, raising awareness, uh, bringing a lot of these uh, uncomfortable or unknown issues to the table and just starting a conversation. The surfboard is, is an amazing um, uh, part of it, but it's the conversation that starts because of it that's going to keep twirling out and uh, hopefully cause ripples throughout the world. Poem is a great example. A surf shop like that wouldn't have existed, you know, 20 years ago. And so it's just everyone's catching up slowly but surely, you know. It's going to be a departure from the fully uh, petrol-based feedstocks to more, uh, you know, plant-based, uh, naturally harvested or recycled because you're looking to prolong the life of a product and or provide a feedstock from a renewable resource. The future of Timponi is we're just going to keep building boards. That's what we do. Um, I have no uh, desire to retire, as a lot of people have suggested I do. I go, well, what would I do it myself? You know, I mean, it's kind of, you know, I enjoy coming down here and, and you know, this has become my kind of my art, my craft, my, uh, my life. So uh, we'll just continue on. I'm young. I'm only 68. You know, it's just like I got. I mean, I, I look to Oli, who's 20 years older than me, and and he's still building boards. So I see, you know, no reason to stop at any point soon.